I was tinkering with my garage door sensors the other day. You know, the kind that stop the garage door from closing on your cat's tail? Well, I thought of a great way to protect my home using these same sensors. I always thought it would be great to be able to tell if somebody pulled into your driveway or walked on your property. So, here we go. I picked up a gently used pair of garage door sensors for 17 bucks. I also decided to use a wireless doorbell chime for my alerter, and I found a nice setup for $7 that has a 500-foot range. The first step is to use a photo cell. I picked mine up at Radio Shack. It will be triggered by the LED on the receiver. So it's got to be glued in place. I tried to open up the receiver housing, but I didn't want to compromise it too much and also lose some of the waterproofing. So I mixed up a generous batch of JB Weld and glued the photo sensor right over the LED. After it was fully hardened, I hit it with some black spray paint just to make sure there was no light seeping into the photo cell. Now it's time to build the circuit, and it's based on just five components. Now here's the schematic for how I built the circuit. I won't go through every detail of building it, but basically here's how it works. When the light to the photo cell is disrupted, it triggers the 6-volt relay, which in turn triggers a switch for our transmitter. So now it's time to pop open that transmitter and remove the small circuit board, and we'll be making a connection with this surface-mounted switch. Using my Dremel, I cut the circuit board to its smallest possible size so that everything would fit inside of a small hobby box. Everything will be powered by this 5-volt, 1-amp AC adapter. I mounted the box, which holds the circuit and the transmitter, to the receiving door sensor. Then I took everything outside and mounted the transmitter using some old tent stakes. I also mounted the receiver and ran the line in between the receiver and the transmitter in an expansion joint in my driveway. The last step is to plug in the AC adapter and give it a test. Whenever the infrared beam is broken, it alerts me with a chime. Not only does this work at night, but it'll work with any intruder who wants to come on your property. And these door sensors can also be used indoors as well. That's how to make your very own infrared intruder alert system.